Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna check out this cool website that we made in Adobe XD and we can actually rotate this uh, 3D model of a car which is pretty awesome I guess and you can just drag this to rotate it one by one and it looks uh, very very amazing and you can use this to define to your developer what you really want very very cool so without further ado let's just get started with this tutorial first going to google what we need to do is quickly search for any car which we want and uh put in 360 degree view right after that so there'll be a ton of websites which have a 360 degree view of that particular car I'm going to choose this msn.com website where there's a 360 degree view of Lamborghini Huracan. And um, as you can see, the 360 interior is activated. You can do an interior, uh, an interior animation as well. But for this tutorial, we'll do the 360 degree exterior. And as you can see, we can drag along this path to actually animate this. See how cool it looks. And... Um, what we can do is after every frame if we go ahead and say save image as and we save it to a particular folder like i've saved all these files over there in this folder uh, with every angle you can save an extra image so for every angle like for even this back angle i'll do one image and for a slightly tilted angle here i'll do another image so there'll be a bunch of images that we will try to put in into that one uh, artboard just like that. So once you've saved that, we'll start off with a simple, very simple artboard, which will be our uh, 1920 by 1080 artboard, our web artboard. And inside this web artboard, what we will do is, first of all, give this a cool background, like gradient background of a, a gray to a red, uh, trying to you know blend in that car with the background so give this a really dark gray like this almost a black and a very subtle uh, red like this which will take real far away just like this yeah the UI I've already prepared so I've already prepared this basic UI which basically tells you what the car is and you can switch between different colors of the car so what we need to do is first of all create a rectangle in the middle which does suffice uh, with the grid here uh, this i think this much is fine make it slightly taller and this is the rectangle where our car will sit in and if i go to finder i have already saved a folder called car 360 and i will import each individual angle into this and how i'll do that i'll show you if i drag one image onto this rectangle here it will automatically fill the rectangle and the rectangle will be masked with it make sure to remove any borders here so that it looks really clean and now what we need to do is create this into a component and i'll say command k or control k to make this a component now as you can see there are different states for this component the default state is where our car sits I will click on this plus icon right next to default state and I'll add a new state, not a hover state, but a new state, which will call, which will be called state two. And if I go to finder, I will drag this $2.png into this while I have a state two selected. So if I go back to default state, see how it goes back to the original image of the car. And if I go to state two, it will change to the second. And just like that, we will create the third state and we will keep on dragging the third image into the third state. Uh, we'll create a fourth state and we will drag the fourth image into the fourth stage and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll quickly fast forward this so you don't have to see the entire process. Okay, so the uh, for the preview of this video, I've created 10 states as you can see, uh, default state, state two, state three, four, five, six, all up to state 10. So all these angers, angles are now covered up. So now, uh, before we go on to rotate this car, I'll tell you how to color this car up. Now this is an image, so we really can't change its color, so as to say, 
So we'll create another artboard, just duplicate this one artboard. And in this one artboard, we'll do one thing. We'll create a rectangle. And this rectangle will essentially be the same color as the color that we've set uh, as a palette here. And I'll, I'll make sure there's no border and just a fill. Now I will go to this new feature, which is introduced in XT called blend modes. If I click on blend mode, and if I say, and if I go down to hue and I select hue, as you can see, uh, only the car is being colored and a little bit of the red side of the background. And the gray side still, still remains the same. All the car's parts remain the same. So black and gray parts will remain the same. Everything else will change just like this. So in this one, we'll just make sure this is full width and um, make sure this is below everything else as well as the car is below everything else. So um, we'll just copy this rectangle to the first artboard. Make sure this is uh, just zero or one pixel of width, uh, whatever is fine. I think uh, 0 0.5 should be better. So now we can't really see the overlay, but it's still there. Make sure that both the cars and both the artboards are at the bottom, uh, right below this rectangle of color. And for the first prototype, we'll just click on this blue circle and drag the arrow to the second artboard, say tap, auto animate, ease out 0.3 seconds. That's all right with us. And to make it come back, we'll just click on this red circle and make the arrow come back to the first artboard. So let's check this out. If I click on this blue, ooh, see how it swiftly changes from this red car to the blue car. And if I go to back to red, Ooh, see how it quickly changes back to red. That's a cool little animation. Now for the dragging portion uh, where the car rotates, for that we'll create a little circle and we can give arrows inside that. But for now, I'm just gonna make this like this dark gray circle that we have. And uh, if we once we rotate this, if we drag the circle out, the car should rotate. So for this, what I'll do is I'll make sure that so first of all, I'll duplicate this artboard, put an artboard right below this. I will make sure that this circle jumps two pixels to the left or 20 pixels to the left by holding shift and clicking on the left arrow key. So one, two, see how it shifted just a little bit. And I will click on this car and make sure it goes to state two. And we'll keep on doing this. We'll just move this circle a little bit on the left, say one, two, so 20 pixels to the left and we'll make sure this is state three. We'll keep on doing this, uh, increase the state of the car as well as move the circle out a little bit to the left. Yeah, so now that we've done, we've taken it to state 10. You can do more images when you have time, but for the prototype, we will click on the prototype tab here and uh, we will click on the first circle drag the arrow out to the second artboard down here and make sure it is set to drag, auto animate, and we can choose any ease out. It doesn't really matter that much with drag. We'll just say ease out for this one. And with every circle, we will do this, just drag it out to the next artboard and say drag, auto animate and ease out. Luckily for us, Adobe XD sets uh, the animation to whatever we did before, so you can just Without seeing anything, just drag these arrows out to the next artboard. All right, our prototype is now complete. Let's play this and let's see how this animation goes. So first of all, we'll try the color. Of course, it looks fantastic with that new blend mode feature. And if I drag this circle out just a little bit every time, it will basically rotate the car. How cool is this, man? Who could imagine we could do something like this? in Adobe XD and that car looks fantastic. I hope you like this tutorial. I post such content every Monday and Thursday. So hope, so hope you guys will subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon once you've done that so that you get notified about all my videos when they come out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you all.